Welcome everyone, 10th race of the season has arrived, and today we are visiting Hockenheim for German Grand Prix. First time this season there are no Minati cars at row 11th, Takagi will start 22nd, Gianna Lazy found himself just 21st, De La Rosa leads 6-4 in his duel with Takagi and will start 20th, but ends again 19th. Ricardo Zontel BAR starts 18th, Johnny Hebden stood only 17th. Diniz qualifies 16 two times in a row, Mark Genet took 15th place, which is quite an achievement for Minardi. Alessandro Zanati 14th again, Alex Woods on Benetton is 13th. Jacques Villeneuve on BAR stands 12th, he still haven't scored any points this season. Ralf Schumach is 11th. Giancarlo Fisichello wins 9 1 against Wurz qualifications battle. Yano Trulli starts from 9th position. Damon Hill and Jordan qualified 8th. Prost Olivia Panis will begin race 7th. Rubens Berkello 6th, he has qualified 5 times at 3rd row. Eddie Ivan only 5th. His interim partner Mika Salo managed to outqualify him and will start 4th. David Cook had 3rd. Franson first time qualified at 1st row and it's already 8th ball for Mika Hacking out of 10th possible. McLaren is aiming for the win. German Grand Prix begins. Goulhard, Ivan and Franzen all got caught up during the start, which allowed Mika Salo to move on to second place. Both Mikas are ahead. In the back there is an accident, Jeanne had a contact with Vilnev, who then crashed into Dinis, taking both drivers out even before the first turn. Hakkinen leads the race. Salo is second, Goulhard third. Berkela started well and already attacking Franzen's Jordan. Overtake is successful and Rubens moves to fourth place. But it's a deja vu for Barry Keller, as he is out from the race two consecutive weeks due to mechanical failure. David Coulthard has got really close to Mika Salo and tries to pass him for second position. There is a contact, and Scotsman loses a part of his front wing. This puts David's chances into huge jeopardy. As we can see in a replay, Salo wasn't the one to blame for that. So no penalties, just a racing incident. Eddie Irvine is putting the pressure on Heinz Harald Franzen, but the German is able to withstand the attack from the Northern Irish driver and remains third. Third indeed, since David Coulthard was forced to go to pits to replace the front win. Scotsman is losing positions, falling to 10th place. Irvine and Ferrari strategists are on their way to master the art of overcut. Second week in a row, Eddie overtakes his opponent this way. Heinz Harald Franzen is now behind Ferrari. Race leader Mika Hakkinen is in pits for his first stop. McLaren's crew has issues with fuel hose, which caused a lot of time for Rain in World Champion, and his chances to win the race are drastically going down. Rav Schumacher is also in pits, and technically he takes the lead. Soon after, both Ferraris are approaching the starting line, and they are taking the race under their control. Heinz Harald Frenzen also overtook Hakkinen during his long pit stop, but Mika decided to not waste any time and attack German driving as soon as he can, and successfully got back into top 3. Mika is behind only two Ferrari, Salo and Invina leading, but the hunt mode is on. But suddenly Hakkinen's left back tire has bursted, Mika has lost the control of his car and McLaren went into the barrier. Flashbacks of Michael Schumacher's Silverstone crash immediately are coming to mind. As it can be seen during the replay, the whole accident happened out of blue, and it could have ended with a very dangerous outcome, but thankfully Mika is ok. He left the car himself and didn't suffer major injuries. The German race is over for him. But the battle for championship is still on. Ferrari's drivers have swapped places. Mika Salo has left Ivan through for first position. David Coulthard got 10 seconds stop and go penalty, which pushed him two positions down. Ferrari managed to turn what could have been McLaren's triumph into red double. Eddie Ivan wins the race, Mika Salo is second, and Heinz Held Frenzen has secured last ticket for today's podium. Extraordinary weekend for Ferrari, this is their second one two of the season. Mika Salo deserves all the credit and his strong showing will surely increase his chances to get a seat for the next season. Many teams will now look closely at him as a possible option. Frenzen could be satisfied with third place, podium is a podium after all. Ralf Schumacher finishes at fourth position four times this season. Kuchot is just fifth, but he at least took the fastest lap of the race, gaining extra point. Panisson Pro six, Alex Woods three races in a row finishes in points, today he's seventh. Janela is 8th, and two reliable Minaris both got in the top 10. Ivan has built a 31 points gap ahead of Hakkinen. It looks dangerous for Mika, but only 4 races away Hakkinen himself was 21 points ahead, so things may change quickly. Frenson overtakes Michael Schumacher and climbs into top 3. Other than that, top 10 saw only one new entrant. It's Alex Woods who ties with Hill, but 96 world champion is ahead thanks to best high finish, 4th place. Mika Salo already 11th, 
climbing three positions up. The same progress was made by Jeanne Lazy, who is now 15th instead of 18th. Also worth noting that Jeanne has passed Del Rosa for 18th position. Villeneuve without points for 10 races out of 10, so he still hasn't been classified yet. Ferrari has turned 23 points difference into 55, which make their aspirations for Constructors' Championship indeed more strong. Battle for fourth between Williams and Benetton are the hottest one at the moment. Four consecutive Grand Prix teams are changing positions. Also, thanks to double finish in points, Minardi climbed from last place to 10th. Remaining six races had opportunities for BAR to improve. This was German Grand Prix. Race had a lot of different twists and battle for the championship goes closer to its final act. For now we have two weeks break and then we will meet in Hungary. See you soon!